Hello, my name is Christy Moreno and I am a ceramic artist formerly based out of Helena, Montana. I am originally from Southern California and I have just finished wrapping up a two year long artist residency at the Archie Bray Foundation. I am in the middle of a move so I'm not currently in my studio space but I did record some videos and take some photos of my previous setup which is what I'll be showing you in this video. So I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. So this was my studio space for two years. I have multiple working tables and plenty of wall space to put up letters and decorate. In this video, I will show you how I make my sculptures, which resemble pillars of influential women in my life through the use of frozen snapshots of futuristic ancestors. I examine the essence of these communities through the use of body language and attitudes to explore themes of rage, joy, and curiosity. Every piece starts the same. I'll roll out a slab, I'll add a coil, and I'll build a cylinder. Once the cylinder is a pretty good height, I start to draw and do the layout of the piece by drawing characters side by side or just filling in the space and figuring out what the piece is going to look like. I don't really have them mapped out beforehand and sometimes I'll go into a sketchbook and find old drawings to incorporate into the new pieces. So this is a different sculpture but it's the same process. I've drawn characters on all sides of the piece and I'm trying to see if it works out. Once I'm happy with the composition then I can still go in and shape the piece. At this point the piece has not been closed off so that's why my hand can still fit inside the sculpture and what I'm doing here is just kind of pushing from the inside out just to shape a little bit more of the characters so that they're not as flat on the vessel and that they have a little bit more definition. Here you can see that they are way more refined and the piece is almost closed off. Here the vessel is a little bit more refined and I've also added holes as earrings on some of the characters. They act as double features because when you fire ceramics you need to have a hole somewhere in the sculpture so that your piece does not blow up in the kiln. So this is a 360 view of a more refined sculpture. Now the piece has been slipped and decorated. For this sculpture I wanted to keep the brown clay the main color of the overall piece and so I didn't really paint on their hair or their skin tone and just really focused on their outfits. Here's the piece completely finished. The characters clothes are vibrant and the clay color complements those outfits and the only thing I really glaze on these pieces are their fingernails, their eyes, and their earrings as well. So thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed.